legs. That's not gonna make any sense to anyone. You have. Will. When we cut this all together. Tom's excited, guys. He when we forgot. Well, we didn't forget that it's Easter, obviously. It's Easter's my favourite time of year. Yeah, it's because you get to eat a lot of chocolate and food. <laughs> Another <laughs> bit of chocolate. Anyway, guys, Tom's excited because uh, we we bought stuff to make uh, Rice Krispie and cornflake Easter cakes. Oh my god, that is which is zoomed in my liking. Anyway, guys, we're gonna make Easter uh, cupcakes. Uh, cupcakes like Rice Krispies with the eggs on and cornflakes like with chocolate. They're really basic and simple. It's just something that we did as kids. Also, ignore my face. Like it's that time of the month is coming up, and I'm literally breaking out like crazy. So I'm really self-conscious today. <laughs> Sorry, what? You've never had a hot cross bun. What's wrong with you? I'm pretty sure you can get them all year round in England. You can't get them here. They only come out near Easter time. Well, yeah, well, these ones are super sticky. Those other ones that we had weren't. You have to toast it, Tom. Yeah, you're cutting half of it, surely. Yeah. I just thought you were putting it in hot. Guys, Tom and I are having a dispute and as usual, we need you guys to clarify for us. So, I think there should be two groins. Because you have a groin, right? Your groin, which is your whole groin. But you've got like a right groin. You know what I mean? Like, you've got your right groin and you've got your left groin. So it should be groins, like tits. So you've got a tit and another tit. Or breast. And then a breast for both, right? So why not groins? It doesn't make sense. It does make sense. It makes sense to me. In my mind... My groins are hurting, otherwise I'd just be like, oh, my right groin's hurting. <laughs> or my groin on this side is hurting. So why not have your groins if both are hurting? Yes? No. <laughs> the good people of YouTube will explain. Good morning! So ghostly. Some what? So ghostly. It's just the lighting in here. What maple candy baking is So we're out with the fam. Um, we've come to this burger place it's called short order burger co and it's oh there you go and it's meant to be what was it on the top list of what burgers and perth burgers and perth that was it so we're giving it a go i actually like how they don't have too many options otherwise i'd be stuck here forever trying to decide what to have Yeah, so it's been a bit of a long day. Well, a very long day actually. We're just on our way to the chemist, which is surprisingly open. Oh, I just dropped something on my bag. Oh, I have. It's gone under the chair. On our way to the chemist because I've been out of pain meds for a few days now, but luckily I had some other ones that I took in like the interim. Um, and we also need toilet roll, which. Tom was explaining to me earlier and he told, this is what he said, right? He goes, oh, uh, we need to go to the shops now because they shut at five. And I was like, okay, no. yes. No. And then he changes his tune and says they shut at eight. No. Yes. I said, look, unless we want to go to IGA, because IGA's toilet rolls are more expensive. But you weren't listening to me. <laughs> So we're going to IGA anyway, which is the more expensive toilet rolls, but so yeah, I've had a really really good day Although I'm really really like tired now So we're just gonna get my prescription and stuff and, and the toilet rolls and then we're probably gonna well We're most likely gonna have a rest day tomorrow because Your girl's tired You're gonna have a badge. Yeah, can you not call it an invalid badge? Mm. 
Who knew there'd be so many options of toilet roll? It's funny, these are things that you don't really think about, do you? We don't really... <laughs> get them luxury socks. I can get these ones. Colton, $9 for 12. Or Kleenex, they look soft. How many ply are they? I don't like those really thin, nasty ones that break in your hand. Two ply. Two ply, no. We're not getting two ply. Get three ply. How, did, how many ply are those? This is so good and hard. <laughs> oh, he's gone with the Quilton. The first choice. Because they're good. And you know they're three ply. They're not going to rip if you wipe your bum. <laughs> what? It's a natural human action. <gasps> oh my gosh, these jars are so cute. I could put my rings in them. Like right and left instead of the things that I have at the moment. The cardboard and the breaking. Hey guys, so I hope you can't hear the television too much in the background. So, last week uh, I got sent a medical ID. Um, now, obviously I'm gonna do a bit of a, you know, a little disclaimer um, before I start. This was sent to me free of charge. However, all my opinions are my own. Blah, 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 blah. You guys know the drill. Um, I sometimes forget to say the difference between like a partnership and a sponsorship. Um, I don't even know if partnership is the right word, but basically a partnership is where a company will send you a product for free, like to your PO box, or sometimes they'll email you and be like, hey, if we send you this for free, you know, is that okay? And then you can kind of post about it on your Instagram or YouTube or whatever. Um, but most of the time they usually just send you products and it's up to you whether you want to mention it at all or you know, whatever. Um, so I usually only mention products that I generally believe in, etc. Or I give you guys my honest opinion about them. This was sent to me by American Medical ID. Um, and the website is www.identifyyourself.com. Um, and now I know I have a lot of American viewers. In fact, you America is like, I think it's like 60% of where my views come from. So I feel like this is going to be super helpful to a lot of you. So I'm going to show you guys the two ones that they've sent me. I just want to show you them and the type of things that I feel that are important to put on a medical ID. And I have done a videos on this before, like on my main channel and stuff. And I'm not going to make a whole video about this, but I did want to just put it in my vlog. Because um, I keep saying that I'm going to do it and then I forget to do it. Plus, I didn't want to wear them until I talked to you guys about them. Um, so I've picked two designs. So I'm going to start with the rose gold one because I have a rose gold one and a silver one. Um, or stainless steel one. Um, so the rose gold one looks like this. Looks like that. And it has a pack of interchangeable bands which I've just taken out of it. It came in like a little plastic bag. Um, so basically I probably am not going to wear the coloured ones to be honest. Just because I feel I'm not that kind of person but I know loads of people that would absolutely adore these coloured ones so I've got a black one just so I can show you guys how it works um, so while I'm popping this on um, so the reason particular the reasons that I um, have used medical IDs in the past is for allergies and important information and by that I don't mean every single thing that's wrong with me I just mean things like things that are gonna cause me to need the medical ID in the first place. So passing out, seizures, things like that. Things that are, you know, if I'm unconscious, these will be one of the reasons why kind of thing. So I feel that medical IDs are super important for things like that or allergies or just, it's really important to have that kind of information there. I hope I'm making sense. It's late, I'm tired. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to read out some of the information that I chose to put on my med medical ID. So this one is the big chunky one and I will, Put it on this is what this one looks like i really really like the rose gold too so i chose to put my name on there obviously um so i've got amy fisher um eds type 3 pots svt gj tube and then it says c back and on the back i've put gastroparesis mast cell activation disorder tpn hickman line and then i have my emergency contact and then it has tom and then it has his number underneath. I'm not gonna show you the back just because, you know, it has his number and I don't want that to be 
online. But yes, I chose this one because this could fit more information. I will try and leave the links to these. It doesn't really say like the name of it, so I'll try and find the link to it so I can leave it in the description. It has like a little thing that says wear and care on the order form. And it just basically tells you how to care for each bracelet and how to protect the engraving, etc, etc. Um, and they've also sent me this little wallet card. Um, now this is going to be good for my second medical ID because the second one is very small and it can't fit much information at all. It's very minimal. minimal. This would be perfect if you had like, if you just wanted to put one or two things on there like for example asthma or um, diabetes or an allergy that you may have etc that this is perfect for that but if you have a bunch of medications and um, not medications um, allergies or conditions this is probably your best bet is to get something big and chunky like this and obviously you can change the bands etc um, however this little wallet card is perfect for the second medical ID which I will show you in a second um, but I just wanted to show you this first so basically it just has emergency um, medical ID card and then it basically has personal information so your name, birth date, address, home phone, cell phone, religion, preferred language, your blood type which I think is important um, then it also has your medical coverage so your insurance policy number if you had that and then it has emergency contact and then it has like a, a couple different spaces so you can put more than one emergency contact and it has your doctor's information, so you can put your your doctor's name. And it has again multiple, so you can put multiple doctors. And then on the back, it has medic medical conditions, allergies, medications, and other information. So you have a ton of space to be able to write everything that you need to write, um, and obviously go into more details if you have to. And I really like that they've included this um, because I know there's a lot of places that. Uh, or medical ID companies that I've used in the past that don't include these or they include like a tiny card that's like this size and this size only and you can't really fit a lot of information on that and then what I think is super great is on the back they've put www.med-id.com and they've got numbers for each country so they've got um, an American number, a Canadian number, a UK number and an Australian number which I think is perfect and I'm imagining that you can register these details on that website or something like that so they could just kind of search it up I guess your doctors. Lastly I just want to show you this one. Now this one is super pretty. This is definitely more um well for me anyway this is definitely more like pretty which is more like the reason I chose it I suppose not practical for my situation so it has a little love heart charm with the red little medical id symbol and then the chain itself is little love hearts as well and then i've just put my name so amy fisher eds type 3 pots svt and then uh tom's phone number at the bottom just n not even his name just his phone number um, so let's pop this on to show you guys. If I was wearing this one, I think I would definitely wear it in combination with this one or one of my other medical IDs that had more information on. But again, I have found that not everyone checks medical IDs. Um, I've actually found that more people check your phone and the medical ID that you can have in your phone. Um, not a lot of people actually check the medical IDs nowadays. Um, but then again, there's been a lot of situations where if I didn't have this, I would have been in big trouble. So I do think it is definitely worth having one. In my experience, I have definitely found that having one has put me in a lot better of a position than not having one. Even though I've had a few occasions where they ne they haven't necessarily checked it or noticed it, but majority of the time they do and they check it. And because like lots of the times I've been unconscious or they haven't been aware of information it's literally been a lifesaver literally a lifesaver so all in all uh, I'm really, really happy with the purchases like I said this is definitely more of a pretty one and definitely definitely recommend this for um, if you've got a few items I mean to be fair I have fit three conditions an emergency contact and my name on there so it's not too bad. I think it depends more what you want to use it for. If you've just got an allergy, you could put like, for example, for me, I could put allergy, um, cephalosporins, vancomycin, and then, which are both antibiotics. And then I could just put EpiPen in bag or something. 
that would be perfect. Um, but if you have a bunch of medication, uh, why do I keep saying medication? If you have a bunch of illnesses, etc., something like this would be definitely more suitable because you can fit a lot more on. Definitely recommend something like this if you're in a situation like myself. And if you're not, and you just want it for something sim small, I recommend this one. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for American Medical ID for sending me them, and I will leave their website in the description and the links to these bracelets if you guys are interested. But I'll definitely be filling this out and definitely putting this in my um, handbag. So yeah, if you guys are interested, please go check them out in the description. <laughs> my dad just my jumped on. <laughs> jumped on <laughs> Tom. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. I know you love me. Ah, I can't stand it. Oh, <laughs> Thomas. Oh, Thomas. I can't believe What are you doing? Oh, my God. Ah, <laughs> give me a bag, sir. <laughs> Dad. I know. <laughs> what went on there then, Thomas? <laughs> I've been touched in inappropriate ways by your father. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hey guys, so I pretty much have not vlogged all day, or since yesterday I suppose, is what I should say. Um, it is currently Easter Sunday, so happy Easter, because I know this is probably not going to go up till way, way after Easter. Or I say way, way, but like sometime next week. Um, I am going to end my vlog in a sec. I just wanted to quickly show you guys something. So, I mentioned that Tom and I were gonna make Rice Krispie treats, and I know you guys call them different things depending on where you live. Um, I think Australians call them like chocolate crackles or something, but we call them Rice Krispie treats in the UK, or at least where I'm from. Um, so, <laughs> this one has a, <laughs> a bunch of chickens on it, because every time someone eats one that has a chicken on, we just shove it onto like another one. Um, so basically, luckily for me, these are actually drainable, so this was something I could enjoy around Easter time. Um, and the cutest thing happened this morning. So Tom came in and he had a Rice Krispie treat and he had one for me. And he goes, oh, I get. I wanted to bring you this one because it has a green chicken, you know, for gastroparesis awareness. And I was like, oh my God, he melted my heart. And I did post about it on Instagram and so many of you messaged me saying how cute that was. So I just thought I'd share that with you on here in case you guys don't follow me on Instagram. Um, so yeah, we've just had a really, really, really relaxing day. I've been recovering from yesterday because I was been earlier. I was in so much pain from like the walking yesterday, and I didn't. I don't think I realised how much walking I was gonna do. Otherwise, I would have packed my wheelchair. I didn't. You normally I put it in the boot, but I didn't really think, and I didn't put it in. So I kind of have suffered a bit today, but it's alright. I'm feeling a little bit better now. I've just got quite bad stomach pain, but again, probably from the stuff that I've ate today. Um, and draining has been a real pain in the bum. Um, my nose, I've been having like nosebleeds from putting the tubes down and my throat's been hurting and it's just been not fun. Um, and then I made some meringues as well as the Rice Krispie Treats. We did this Friday, I think. Yeah, we did it Friday, but I just haven't had a chance to show you guys. The meringues are actually sitting over there because, you know. Just, I really need to put them in like a container, but I don't know why I just felt like making meringues. So yeah, they're just chilling. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have had an amazing Easter. I love you all to bits. If you enjoyed this vlog, please do give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I'm, we're doing like a meetup in Perth with like a bunch of people from the Perth like chronic illness group for young adults <laughs> um so i'm really excited to meet some people that i've never actually met before i've met most of them but there are some people that i haven't met so i'm super excited for that and that's why it was really important that i rested today because otherwise i probably wouldn't have been able to do it, go tomorrow i also ran fluids earlier so i'll be nice and hydrated for tomorrow so excuse me i can't wait for that um like i said i love you guys to bits and like subscribe all the jazz and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog